very simple. It's Greenwich's only food pantry and clothing distribution organization. We feed and clothe the poor. Our mission is to provide for the exchange of food, clothing, and basic living essentials in an atmosphere of kindness and respect. We take the kindness and respect parts very seriously. I've been with Neighbor to Neighbor now going on five years. And what I do, I'm a food coordinator. And I run the food side and make sure things are handled correctly. Our food pantry serves Greenwich residents. Our clothing room serves Stanford and Port Chester in addition to Greenwich. We try to make sure that the atmosphere that we foster in our organization is one that people will feel comfortable coming to, will not feel that there's any stigma attached with going to a food pantry for help. When I came to Neighbor to Neighbor, uh, I almost ate it all the time. I get some clothes for my family, my kids. I get some food every week. And it helps me a lot as a single parent raising five kids on my own. I guess this is the place to really and uh, help the people who they have really has a lot of needs. I think Neighbor to Neighbor has this incredible energy about bringing the people who need and the people who have together. And I don't know many places in this town where the, that connection happens. I think the best part of Neighbor is how friendly of a place it is. That when a client comes in and you're greeting them and you know about their kids and you're asking how the baseball game was. More important than giving out the food is treating people with dignity. So it's been a great experience for us to be able to work at Neighbor. It's just so rewarding to know that you're helping someone so close to home. People really don't understand that Greenwich has people in need. And it just feels good. You're interacting with people. You know, you can do it with friends, folding clothes. Like, it's, it's not difficult what you're doing, but you're making such a big difference. We always need donations of food. We always need donations of gently used clothing, linens, sheets and towels, and blankets. Diapers, we never have enough diapers to meet demand. The good news about the space is that is that we have it available and it enables us to serve the people of the town in Greenwich. The bad news is it's very cramped. It's it's actually in two different buildings. Neither one is very large, so it's so it's cramped. The facility is less than optimal. We need so much more space. We could do so much more and do it with greater dignity if we had better space. The proposal that's on the table between Christchurch and Neighbor to Neighbor is that Christchurch uh, would like to invite Neighbor to Neighbor to build their new building here on our campus. It would be roughly a 6,000 square foot, two-story building with a full basement that would house the food and clothing operations of Neighbor to Neighbor. We prove that we can manage it well with really good staff. We prove that we can find the volunteers. And we know that there's more generosity in the town of Greenwich in terms of what people want to give than we can physically handle right now. And we know that the, the, the poor who live among us is growing. Okay. Neighbor to Neighbor doesn't need just one thing. Nonprofits need everything. Nonprofits need absolutely everything that their community has to offer. People, money, food, prayers, understanding, support, a buzz. Neighbor to neighbor needs needs all of that and I think the the beauty of, ha of really having a bigger space is that you can bring that in.